Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruthie if you are new here. So today's video we are going to be doing uh, a little bit of a grocery haul. Um, so it's not really like my weekly grocery haul. Uh, I was actually inspired by Frugal Fit Mom here on YouTube. She talked about Clarence grocery shopping and I was like huh? And then I did notice like a couple weeks ago I went to Smith's and they had a bunch of Markdown and Clarence items on certain things. Um, and I only picked, I think the only thing I picked up was mozzarella sticks, like Mickey Mouse shaped mozzarella sticks that were on rollback and then um, a bunch of like active, dry active yeast or whatever, um, like the packets, because they were also for like 49 cents and I grabbed those, but didn't really see anything else. So um, yeah, I grabbed a few things. Like I said, this wasn't my, I didn't do a huge grocery shopping. Um, I literally didn't even meal plan for this week yet um, at all, and I need to, it's Sunday, but I feel like my days have been just so, so mixed up. But um, I noticed that they were also having their case lot sale at Smith's, and then they were also having a lot of things on clearance. So I was like, let me walk in there, let me see what I have. So like, I went into the store with the sole purpose of clearance shopping, and I did grab a few things um, that weren't on clearance that I just kind of wanted, so I'll show you that too. Um, I made Mediterranean chicken in the crock pot, so I grabbed a few things. Um, to eat that for lunch today but yeah i got some really good finds you guys and i'm really excited to share with you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we are so close to a thousand subscribers it's insane um but yeah i wanted to share this video with you guys um run to your local kroger if you have one my hair really looks absolutely terrible i swear it did not look like this this morning it was like super cute but i was like sweating with my two kids i spent a total of 97 dollars i'll try my best to leave the prices of everything on the screen for you guys i'm not very good with doing that but for this video in particular i will try to do that especially if it's on clearance um but yeah let's get into here it. is the overview again i said i didn't get too much but i felt like i got enough that to spend only 97 dollars i was pretty shocked i actually saved 21 dollars total um i don't know how it works with because obviously um the prices like reduced down on the clearance items compared to sale items so my sale items i saved 21 dollars um because it doesn't show up like the clearance but i have my receipt here so i'm going to try to remember all the prices for you guys as much as i know um we'll start with the clearance um so i got the simple tooth Simple Truth Natural Ground Turkey. I got two of them. There was only two, so I grabbed them. They were $2.99 each. Um, I love the Simple Truth Ground Turkey. Um, we don't really eat too much red meat. I mean, we do if it's on sale or just to have it, we'll get like an organic one. But for organic ground turkey, $2.99, we thought that was a great price, so I grabbed two of those. I got two of these Farmer John Ground Pork Extra Lean um, Ground Pork. I already said that ground pork. I was $1.99. It's a freeze by August 29th, which is actually today. You're probably gonna be seeing this video a little bit later, but it's actually today. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these in the freezer and it will be good to go. Um, and I got two of those for $1.99. And I'm probably gonna make either um, like ground um, pork like tacos or maybe some meatballs or maybe put it into a lasagna. I'm not sure yet, but for one pound for $1.99 for ground pork. Not bad. Um, I grabbed this um, buffalo style shaved chicken breast. This was actually on sale for $3.99. Um, let's see. I know, yeah, so this was actually, yeah, on sale for $3.99. Originally $5.99, but it was on sale for $4.99. And I had a coupon off, so I paid $3.99 for this buffalo chicken. Um, I'm not a huge buffalo chicken fan, but Cameron really enjoyed this. Um, and I think this time around, he'll probably have it either for lunch or maybe make it and he can have it on bread again or even on, um, on top of nachos and make like some buffalo chicken style nachos. So over here, I found this um, Mexican vanilla blend um, from Molina. Um, I actually needed more vanilla anyways. This is only $0.59. Cents. Um, and it has an expiration date of 11-24-2003. What? <laughs> 2023. I am tired. I need coffee. Um, it has an expiration date of 2023. Um, and it's just a vanilla. And yeah, I haven't tried this one yet. I need a vanilla anyway, so I grabbed that. 
Um, I got this plant-based Go Veggie um, cream cheese. This was actually on clearance for $1.89, and this doesn't expire until September 21st. Um, so I have a good 20 three 22 days to go through this which is plenty it's a pretty small container i actually really oops, i'm dropping the meat i actually really enjoy this um brand's um cream cheese so i'm really glad to find that because it's actually kind of expensive um i found these maggie um it's uh pollo con oros it's i don't know if i'm saying that right but it's basically just um yeah chicken flavored rice soup mix um and these are 29 cents each so i grabbed two of them you just basically put them in water and cook them and they're so good for like a little quick lunch a little high in sodium but super good anyways um, and these don't expire until january of 2022 um so definitely put these in my pantry probably to eat sooner than later um but still a really good deal 29 cents um i grabbed two of these hand sanitizers um they're 50 cents each i actually needed hand sanitizer um actually i'm sitting down you guys um i actually needed some hand sanitizer so i grabbed two of those 50 cents not bad um i grabbed this jumbo biscuits honey butter flavored um biscuits this is actually on clearance for 79 cents again it does say on here i remember seeing it in the store um uh, august 31st so two days so i'll probably make this probably for breakfast um tomorrow or maybe um for dinner i'm not too sure probably gonna look up like different recipes that I can do um, with the biscuits to eat it. But I mean, for 79 cents, you can't go wrong. I hit my camera and all of a sudden it's not focusing and I was like, oh my God, what just happened? Um, anyways, uh, I found this one, the Active Drive Yeast. This is exactly the one that I got last time, I think. These are 49 cents. And this one actually doesn't expire until, I think it was like 20, which one is it? Um, 2022, so next year. Um, I think I have, let me show you guys. Um, Remember I told you that I got a bunch last time? Well, these are the ones that I found last time. Um, and these are 49 cents as well. And I grabbed like so many of them. And then these expire um, um, November 2022 as well. And I grabbed a bunch of them. Um, so lots of bread making is going to be happening soon. Um, just because, I mean, that's a really good deal. Um, so I found one only. So I just grabbed it and I'm probably actually gonna give some of these to my mom because I know she wants to make some things too. Um, so 49 cents, not bad. And if you remember in the beginning of the pandemic, you couldn't find active dry yeast anywhere. Um, so next I found this Kroger Gouda cheese slices. This is on clearance for 149 and it's good until um, by uh, January of 22. Um, we'll probably eat this like now or i may freeze this actually i'm not sure um cheese freeze really well if you don't know um but i may eat them now gouda and american and make like some good grilled cheeses i don't know that sounds delicious um but 149 for this one so i grabbed that and then that's it for my clearance items we're just these right here um back here we have the case lot sale which the case lot sale was, I mean, I got some good stuff from a case lot sale. Um, so we got the tuna. The tuna was actually on sale for 65 cents each. And I only like tuna and oil. I'm not a huge tuna fan, but I love tuna and oil. So I just grabbed four. I do have tuna upstairs, but for 65 cents, I couldn't like leave it there. So I just grabbed four. Um, and so we grabbed that and then I grabbed the vegetable broth and chicken broth and I really like these because sometimes, oh, I don't know if it's focusing. I sometimes can't go through like a carton of vegetable broth and I have to put it in my fridge and then still sometimes I just still don't go through it. But I find that these cans are usually perfect. Cans of broth were actually on clearance for 49, sorry, on sale for 49 cents. And then over here I grabbed these, which I was actually surprised to see these on sale. But again, these are part of the case lot sale. And so the Simple Truth Organic Pinto Beans, I only grabbed three because that's legit the only three that they had, I was surprised. And then I grabbed this um, tri-blend. Um, it has a mix of kidney, pinto, and black beans. And I thought that'd be really good for like burrito bowls or something. So I grabbed four. Um, I should have grabbed more, but my cart was already starting to get a little full. Um, if I go grocery shopping and I still see they're on sale, I'll probably grab some more just to keep on stock. Um, but pretty much everything 
here, um, everything like I got from the case lot sale is going in my stockpile. Um, I forget what her name is, but she always says, if you have the money, buy one, buy one for now, buy two for later. So that's what I try to always do for the most part. Um, and so the pinto beans um, and the other beans were actually on the sale for 69 cents per can, um, which is a great deal because they're, I, I want to say typically they are at like, I know that they're over a dollar. I want to say like maybe 150 per can, which is a little outrageous, but like again, for an organic, um, you're gonna kind of always pay a little bit more. But 69 cents, had to grab four, so I grabbed four. Pinto beans are my absolute favorite. And that chai blend, I feel like it's gonna be really good in a burrito bowl. So next, I have so much pasta sauce, um, but couldn't let this one down either. Um, I like the canned pasta sauce if I know I'm gonna use the whole can. Um, and Hunt's is a really great brand. I really like them, especially since I just add a lot of seasonings anyways. Um, I got the meat one and then the four cheese. And then these were on sale for 88 cents, I believe it was. Let me just double check. Um, yeah, 88 cents. Um, and you know, I usually stock up when I see Hunt's or like the jars are on sale for 99 cents. Um, but 88 cents, I just grabbed two because that's a pretty good deal. Um, and I don't really ever see pasta sauce go lower than that. I, I mean, I think 99 is usually what I normally see it at, but for 88 cents, I grabbed two. Um, I did recently just grab like a bunch of pasta sauce, so I really didn't need too much more. Um, next, I got two of these smidge spoons um, sugars. These are four pounds each, and these were on sale. The, um, sorry, the sugar is on sale for $1.79 each. Um, I go through sugar like crazy, um, just from like baking and like coffee and all that stuff. So I grabbed two of these. I actually just grabbed um, sugar like a couple weeks ago. I grabbed two of them, but I just grabbed two more to keep in my stockpile because they were on sale for $1.79, which is a great deal. And then down here, I grabbed two of this light brown sugar. Um, I go through brown sugar a lot too just because of Joanna Gaines' um, cookie recipe is brown sugar, and I go through it like crazy. But And these are good until June of 2022, um, July and then June, um, which is still, I have plenty of time. I will get through the sugar within the year. I promise you that because I go through sugar like crazy because of those cookies. And then these were on sale for, um, let's see, I don't know, $1.49 each. So these are on sale for $1.49 each, which is, again, a great deal. Because I think these are just over $2. Um, so $1.49, grab two of them. And then I just grabbed this huge thing of Cheddar Jack cheese. I'm gonna say I never see <laughs> um, Cheddar Jack cheese. This was on sale, I know, for $6. My hubby goes through cheese like crazy because he eats nachos and, you know, we eat like shredded cheese on everything. Um, so I grabbed a huge bag of that. And then over here, this is the case lot sale too. Um, the rice aronis were on sale for 88 cents each. Um, and I think normally these are like a dollar 25 ish. Um, so the cilantro lime rice is one of my favorites. I love this one. Um, so I got two of those, and then I also grabbed two of the Spanish rice. Um, I have quite a few of these rice um in my pantry actually right now. Um, I just love them. They're so easy, they're so good. The cilantro lime rice is so good. Um, and I don't even like cilantro. Like, I hate cilantro. I think cilantro tastes soapy, but this cilantro lime rice is so delicious. So these are 88 cents each, and like I said, they're normally like $1.25, $1.30. Um, so I got four. These are actually on sale for, I think, 33 cents or something like that. Um, Lanny wanted one, so I said, sure. Um, I think it's normally like a buck. Um, it was like 30, 33, 39 cents. Um, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but he wanted it, and I said, sure. Um, he was really good at the store today, so that was his little treat. I also don't have it because my kids already ate it, but I bought two of the Paw Patrol snack things. Those are two for five on sale today. So I grabbed two of those for both my boys and had like apple cheese and grapes and stuff. Um, so over here we have the Kroger microwave popcorn movie theater butter. Um, my son is obsessed with popcorn. He always asks me to have a movie night like every night. Um, and normally I say yes, but then he'll always ask me for popcorn every time too. And I'm like, you don't eat popcorn every time, but we actually have been out of popcorn for some weeks now and he's been like very upset. Um, so there's six three ounce bags, which is a good size bag for like the boys to share. I don't let them eat popcorn too often because I get freaked out that they're gonna choke. 
but the Kroger popcorn was on sale for, I think it was like, let's see. It was 188 and this was also part of the, um, not the case lot sale, it was just on sale, I think. Um, it was on sale for 188, so not bad. And then over here we have the Duncan Hines. Um, this was on case lot sale, and these were on sale for, case lot sale, these were on sale for 99 cents each, hello. Um, and so I grabbed this one because I actually have canned pumpkin in my pantry right now, so I wanna make this with pumpkin, it's so good. Um, and then I grabbed this chewy fudge brownie mix, and then Landon, I found this one and he wanted it. This is a rainbow confetti um, mix. And so these are 99 cents each, and these expire when? This year, so December of 21, um, October of 22. Then this one is, let's see. 22. So this is the only one that actually expires this year and then the rest is next year. I'm going to make this one like probably actually today and then I'll probably make this one like within a couple weeks. Um, so I grabbed those. Um, next I grabbed was some Kroger butter. This was on sale for $1.88 this week. Um, I believe this was like um, a flyer sale. So I just grabbed two. I actually have a bunch of butter but I really like to stock up again because of those stinking cookies that I'm always making. So I just grabbed two more, 188 each. Um, I grabbed some Simple Truth. Oh, dang it, I meant to grab the whole milk. Um, I guess I grabbed the oh, um, reduced fat instead. Oh well, but I got the Simple Truth Organic Milk. This is usually like $5.99 and it was on sale for $4.99. Um, I got some Kroger Mile Traditional Salsa. This salsa was like one, 79, I believe it was. Yeah, this was 179. I love the Kroger salsa. We're actually having tacos tonight, so this would be great. You want some cheese? Oh, you steal my, you steal it. It's my feta cheese. Grabbed two things of the, do you want some? Of, do you want some feta? Okay. Two of these tomato and basil fetas. These were not on sale, but I love feta so much. So I grabbed these two fetas. They were um, $3.99 each. Um, they were actually on sale. Um, they were, I don't know, I guess $1.50 off or something like that. I don't know. Um, but I grabbed two of those. I found this cheesecake jello. This was like a dollar oh nine, I think it was. Yeah, like a dollar oh nine. And I found like these overnight oats that's like kind of like a cheesecake thing, and I thought these would be kind of good. I don't know. We'll keep I'll keep you updated. All right, I grabbed some grape tomatoes, these are on sale for um $1.99. Um, because I'm gonna make feta um, pasta, which is our favorite. This is the creamy um, boar's head, creamy feta, and this was like $5.29. Um, kind of expensive, but this is like a meal, and it's so easy. Um, grab some cotton candy grapes. This is so expensive. This was like $9.06 for friggin' this little bit of grapes. But cotton candy grapes are bomb.com. If you don't know, you need them. They are so delicious. And then lastly, um, Lana wanted a hot dog bread, and this is like what he picked out. Um, he loves hot dogs, and I made hot dogs the other day, and I didn't have hot dog bread, and he was like so upset. But hot, some hot dog bread, and then I also found this, um, and this was on sale for like one, let's see. This was on sale for one twenty-five, and then I got this Papa Pita Greek Pita Six Flatbread White, um, and this was on sale for... Um, two ninety nine, dollars and this, I actually made Mediterranean chicken, like I said, and I'm actually gonna make a wrap with this, this, and some lettuce, and some balsamic, it's gonna be delicious, um, and that is what I got, you guys. Again, I didn't spend too much, but I'm proud of these items that I got. A lot of it's for my stockpile anyways, um, and I just wanted to share with you guys a quick little haul, um, because, I mean, these are some good deals. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'm sitting down because I'm really tired. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.